Right now, you may be giving all kinds of contexts to your life, but essentially, what you call as my life right now is just a certain combination of time and energy. As you sit here, time is rolling away for all of us. Can you roll it back? Yesterday was not fruitful, so I'll roll it back. Can you? It's rolling away for all of us. As we sit here, what is ticking away here is not the clock. What is ticking away is our life, isn't it? So it's a certain amount of time. And that time, nobody can manage because it rolls at the same pace for everybody. You do something, you don't do anything, you sleep, you're awake, you're happy, you're unhappy, do whatever the hell you want, it just keeps rolling mercilessly, isn't it? So there is energy that you call as life. This, you can pitch it at different levels. If you're like this, if you're like this, Twenty-four hours feel like thousand years, but have you seen on a certain day you're very happy? Twenty-four hours, poof, went off like a moment, yes or no? So time is a very relative experience in individual subjective experiences. If you're joyful, if you live hundred years, it feels like a few moments, it's gone. Only miserable people will have a long life <laughs> But what possibility this carries? So what you need to manage is your energies because life is a certain amount of energy, it's not limitless, but it can be enhanced. If you function at one level of energy, what you do in ten years' time, if you function at a different level of energy, the same thing you can do in one year's time. So if both people live for hundred years, in terms of impact and profoundness of experience, one has lived for a thousand years, another has lived for hundred miserable years. So this is all you can do. You may think right now, engineer, this one, that one, these are all limited contexts you're setting for yourself. Fundamentally as a life, it's just time and energy, isn't it? The question is what you make out of it. Do you want to make something out of it? There's no compulsion you have to make something out of it. When I say making something out of it is not a social phenomena I'm talking. What should you become in the society? That's not what I'm talking. Fundamentally, you have come here in terms of life is you want to experience life. Question is how profoundly? Right now, if people want to experience life, what are they experimenting with? They will experiment, not this, this. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know you guys. Or they'll experiment this, or they'll experiment something else. What they will experiment is how to down your faculties. Do you believe you can enhance life by lowering your faculties? Hello? If you want to enhance this life, you must super enhance your faculties, that's the only and only way you can enhance this life. You cannot lower your, lower your faculties and think your life is getting enhanced. What kind of stupidity is that? Simply because it makes you a little like this. I can make you feel like this all the time, how's that? <laughs> no substance, I am always like this only. Never touch a substance but fully stoned all the time. Because I want you to understand this, the greatest chemical factory on the planet is here. If you are a good manager of this, you can create any experience that you want from within and also heighten your faculties. If you are having an experience, even to experience that, your faculty should be heightened, isn't it? So I'm asking, how are you managing your system? What have you done? We gave you such a sophisticated machine. Have you read the user's manual at least? <laughs> no. Blindly do this and then you think pumping something is going to make this better? No. Believe me, the only and only way you can enhance this life is that your faculties are super bright. The way you see, the way you hear, the way you smell, the way you taste and the way you touch, if this is enhanced, is life enhanced?
in many ways, there are much more to it. But I'm saying from what you know from your experience, suppose you could see twice better than somebody who is sitting next to you, is your life enhanced? Hmm? If you could taste better than other people, is life enhanced? If you could feel better, is it life enhanced? If you could hear better, is life enhanced? On this level you understand this, but there are many other dimensions of human faculties. If you enhance this, if you sit here, you will be blissed out simply sitting here. So, about what is the end game? If you had everything, what would you want? If you had everything that you can ever dream of, everything is right here, what would you want? I won't supply you with an answer. If you do not invest that much thought into your, li into your life, that means you're super short-sighted. No, you must be conscious you're mortal. Mortal means you have a limited amount of time and energy. If you're always conscious about this, how would you organize your time and energy? You decide. This is important, you must understand there is a psychological reality in your head and there is an existential reality which is life. Most people are mistaking their psychological reality to be existential. Your thought and emotion has become more significant in the cosmos, isn't it? Modern science today is recognizing there is something called as Akashic intelligence. That is space, empty space has certain intelligence. Whether this intelligence works for you or works against you, will determine the nature of your life, whether you are a blessed being or one who is going to be freaked and buggered around for the rest of your life. It simply depends on that, how this Akashic intelligence behaves with you. For no reason, people are being hammered around by life, isn't it? For no reason, some people seem to be blessed with everything. It is not for no reason, it is your ability, either consciously or unconsciously your ability to be able to get the cooperation of this larger intelligence which is functioning. It's not your butt, it is the Akash which is holding you in place. It is the Akash which is holding this earth in place, it's the Akash which is holding this solar system in place, it's the Akash which is holding this galaxy in place. It is the Akash which is holding the whole cosmos in place. I can teach one simple process, which anyway half of you will not do always. You do this much. After the sunrise, be before the sun crosses thirty degrees angle, once look up at the sky and bow down for holding you in place today. After it crosses thirty degrees, sometime during the day, any time, look up and bow down again. After it sets, once again look up and bow down. Not to some god up there, just to the empty space for holding you in place for today. Just do this, life will change dramatically. You consciously do this three times a day. If you get cooperation from this, life will happen in magical ways in absolutely miraculous and fantastic ways.